Welcome back to Take Apart. Today I will change the battery in my Hecar One Porterpack H2 Plus. Battery is located right here. Product links are in description below. So let me start by removing buttons first. By the way, PCB Way is celebrating 10th anniversary, so if you in need for PCBs, PCB A's, CNC or even 3D printing, just head to PCB Way. Link is in description below and also in pinned comment. Make sure to check shared projects such as these for Flipper Zero. They have it all and for affordable prices shipped worldwide. Once again, pcbway.com and my referral link is in description below. Alright, next I'll loosen nuts for bottom SMA connectors, remove covers and unscrew nuts and remove washers too. Also for antenna, top SMA connector, just like so. Next I'll unscrew 4 plastic screws with Philips head screwdriver. Make sure to subscribe. Now it's time to remove top cover. Oh, an SD card. I am using Panasonic 16GB SD card. Now I will unscrew 4 screws on the back of the Hecar One Portapack H2 Plus and remove sandwich of PCBs from rear cover. Done. Here I have a yellow foam protecting battery that can be removed and battery connector can be disconnected so that I can separate two PCBs in order to access battery. Here we go. Top PCB with display can rest on a side and I will remove full standoffs, also my yellow foam from RF shield. And here we have battery. This is my temporary battery, it is one cell from MacBook battery. I used it while waiting for new battery. New battery sits here between these connectors, just like so. There is no right side up. Only thing needed is to replace cables as there is no connector on the new battery. I have to remove captain tape and desolder wires from PCB. Then desolder wires from old battery and solder wires with connectors to the new battery PCB. Polarity is nicely marked. Be careful as you dealing with live battery. Once done, I will stick on tape and battery can go in. But before, I will stick strips of this soft thing on the side of those large connectors, so battery will stay on its place. Leave a comment below if you would like to see more Hekar one videos. Yeah, perfect. Now two PCBs with battery in between can be connected together. Connect battery connector and let's test it. Boom, it works. Alright, let's finish it up. I'll put my yellow foam on top of the RF shield and also in front of the battery. Now time to install four plastic standoffs. One on each corner. These have thread in them for outer screws. Let's put the thing in the rear cover and screw in four rear screws. Next pop on front cover and screw in four front screws. Check my other HackRF1 videos. I'll insert SD card and fire it up just to test it again. My splash screen is here. Perfect. We'll install washers and nuts on all three SMA connectors and also covers. Lastly, button covers following by main dial knob. It seems that all is in working order and my new battery will hopefully last a long time. Thanks for watching and see you next time.